Here we are, 2017 is winding down. It's been a big year for CPUs and now we've seen them all. Up until now, we've reserved judgment because who knows what's gonna come next, right? Might be, Intel might have pulled ahead, right? Well, <laughs> well, we've seen them all now and now we can tell you. We can tell you unequivocally and with no gotchas or catches or whatever, we can make the choice for you. What CPU should I buy in 2017 for building a new machine? Well, and we're gonna try and break it down by like audience, what we think you're looking for. Now, if you're just a normie looking to build a machine that can just be a jack of all trades, we're gonna recommend the R5 1600 or the 1600X from AMD. We, we chose an AMD, we what? Did. Oh, there come the down votes. We did. Now we're calling this the normie, but really it is the overall winner. Taking everything else into account, looking at value, uh, versatility, this is our winner. <laughs> all of us rabidly attacking one another in debates and all sorts of insanity behind the scenes. This was this this was the CPU that was in the center of our our choice uh, at any given scenario. Now you might be saying, "Oh, hang on! You didn't say one. You said two. Yeah. What's going on with that?" Well, there's a reason. Well, 1600 is the winner, but there's been some pricing changes. So. The 1600X. I mean, same price. Go for it. Totally fine. Now, if you're a tech student, you maybe are saying. Six cores is not enough for me. I need to do a little bit of an upgrade there. Well, AMD is still the best platform overall. You can go for the Ryzen 7 CPUs, get two extra cores, run your virtual machines, whatever you might need to do as a student. You can totally do that on that platform and have a little bit more horsepower. Now gaming, of course that 1600, it's gonna do fine for gaming. You know, the graphics card is gonna be the bottleneck. Not a big deal unless you are super hardcore. A screeching gamer, yes. if you will. Screeching <laughs> on... <laughs> That's the sound you make when you hear <laughs> that we chose the 1600 and not the 8700K because that's the new king of gaming, right? We used to talk about the 7700. Hey, it was the best. Well, it's not the best anymore. Now we got to recommend the 8700 because you get those two extra cores, but it's still faster. And you have to spend so much money on the graphics card. It's like the graphics card is this much money and then the entire rest of the system is about as much money. Yeah. Any. Any way that you would upgrade your CPU beyond the price of that 8700, you should just put it toward a graphics card instead. All right, maybe you're not a pro gamer, maybe you're not a student, maybe you're not a normie. If you're not a normie, you're probably super into Linux. Now, if you're pro Linux, we're gonna recommend the Threadripper, which is this lovely giant box right here. It is hard to beat 16 cores, my goodness. 1950X, XFR, 4.2 gigahertz, uh, what are you gonna do? The, the only problem that you run into, you know, virtual machines, compiling source code, it's really, it's a great processor for anything that you would throw at it, except for pass-through virtualization. That's still some rough edges with that on Threadripper, it doesn't work that great. If you need pass-through, if you need to run a virtual machine, a pass-through graphics card, you're going to need the i9-7900X, also a $1,000 CPU. You can drop down a little bit if you want, but that'll be our recommendation for the pass-through Linux professional. Now, what about those of you who are chasing the dream? You know, the million to one odds. You want to live that life where you're getting paid to play video games. You want to be a Twitch streamer. Well, it turns out the Twitch streamer is going to have the same selection as the extreme gamer. The screeching gamer, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does and, that imply a Twitch gamer is a screech? <laughs> I mean, they do screech on camera usually for views. I, You know, if you're like, am I this person? Go look in the mirror. Do you have blue hair? You might be. You might be that person. Now this 8700, those extra cores are going to take care of your streaming needs and not eat away at your gaming performance. But again, you want to throw most of your money at the GPU. So once again, the 8700K is going to be your choice if you are you want to live the Twitch lifestyle. If you're looking to throw money away though, like if you are a trust fund baby- <laughs> Literally just set it on fire. <laughs> and you're like, man, I need the best CPU. I don't want to work on improving myself or like helping the world. I just want a really, really amazing CPU. We recommend the 7980XE, <laughs> which is, I think, at the time of this video, about $2,400 retail. Now, the thing that I like about that is that, like, if the press wanted to pull that quote out of there, it's like, level one recommends 70, you know, 7980XE, uh, you know, Intel, whatever, as the highest end, whatever. They will totally miss what Ryan said right before that, which is literally setting your money on fire. So yes. let's be clear about that. Now this is double what you're going to get from the AMD offering. The performance increase, it's there, but it ain't... It doesn't come cheap. It's not $1,200 worth. Let's just say that. It's probably not even $300 worth. So yeah, that's the only way we recommend that is if you're spending somebody else's money or you are just like a Saudi prince. <laughs>
I'm going to fly over in my solid gold 747 <laughs> to go to Micro Center to buy the 7980X. That's the one you pair with the $500 motherboard <laughs> and, you know, RGB everything. It's just, I don't even understand. This motherboard has a nice fruity bouquet. Now, there, there may be some others among you, like the deal hounds, the dumpster divers, if you will. I myself, especially through my college years, was, was definitely a dumpster diver. Uh, we've already done videos for you, as it turns out. You don't have to, there's nothing in this video really for you. Any CPU of the last five years paired with a modern GPU is really all you need. Any good CPU of the last five years, I should say. We've done videos on that. A lot of you have written in and said, hey, I got a computer, you know, a surplus Xeon server computer from my university for practically nothing. Put a good graphics card in it, like you said, and upgraded it. We've already done videos on that. We'll try to remember to link them in the description. But that's all you really need, honestly. I mean, a five-year-old Sandy Bridge, even an i5. Uh, 2400 with a decent GPU is great for gaming and you know being on par with the uh, machines that we're recommending here. And a real advantage there is when that trust funder posts their build on a forum somewhere, you can immediately chime in and it's like, well, my Sandy Ridge is fine for me and I paid $50. That, <laughs> that sanctimony will be so delicious for you. So delicious. Think of the likes. The sanctimony is often better than the actual computer. Or, you know, <laughs> save your money and buy a better computer next year with whatever comes out next year or the year after. We're probably going to be saddled with these CPUs for a while, so could be could could be more interesting. I don't know. So congratulations to the winner, which is AMD. We're saying it, <laughs> sixteen hundred. Well, the real winner is the consumer here because we have a lot of selections. Yeah, we do. We really have a lot of, a lot to choose from here, and it was close in some of these categories. It was really really close. But if you want us to make your decision for you in general, these are the decisions we would make. Now, some of you for some unknown reason might disagree with these things and we will welcome your comments to the contrary yes uh, by all means uh, we do love a good debate we can back up our choices can you <laughs> we'll see you in the forum